Hey folks, oh boy, I am so excited for this case. I know I say that almost every single episode, but today, man, I've been waiting 23 years for this moment. 23 years to be able to do this. I am so stoked, I cannot wait. Ah, I gotta show you, check this out. <laughs> I got it! It's my PB personal bass mount. 10.2 pounds in all her glory. All 10.2 pounds of her. After 23 years, I finally get to hang up my trophy. That is awesome right there. Woo, check that out. There she is in all her glory. Look at that, guys. Now, obviously, this isn't the exact fish I caught 23 years ago. I caught my personal best bass when I was 17 years old in Michigan. But at 17 years old, couldn't afford to mount it, unfortunately. And for 23 years, I've been looking for that fish. It is almost identical to it. It's the exact length from all the measurements that I recorded, and it's the exact weight, 10.2 pounds. Caught in central Michigan, in 1994. I've been trying to beat this fish for almost 24 years now. Unbelievable. And now I finally got it hanging here in my office where I can look at it every day and it can remind me exactly why I do this every single day. Every night I go to bed dreaming about that fish. I've gotten so close over the last 23 years to beating that. I've gotten several nine pounders, very close to 10 pounds but I have never beaten 10.2 pounds. And I have a strong feeling that now that I finally got her sitting on my wall 23 years later, she's about to be broken. But that's fine, because there's plenty of empty space for the new personal best. But this is gonna sit right here in my office, right next to my desk, so I can stare at her every single day and be reminded of what it takes to catch a personal trophy. It's gonna remind me of a simpler time. I remember my father used to tell me a rule when we were out there fishing. It was K-I-S-S, -S, or keep it simple stupid. I caught this 10 pound largemouth bass on a simple rubber worm and just a worm hook from the shore, from a bank of a small lake. You know, today with all the technology and all these advancements that we have, sometimes we forget the simple pleasures of fishing and just keep it simple stupid. That's all there is to it. And that hopefully every day when I look at this before I get ready to hit that water, I'll look at this trophy and I'll remember that 23 years later, keep it simple stupid. It's already working. It's already gave me one great idea for a new video. And that's what we're gonna do today. This is gonna be awesome. When I caught that bass, I don't even know if braided lines were out then. There was no fluorocarbon. I was probably using eight to 10 pound monofilament when I caught that 10 pound bass. And it just kind of reminded me, again, just the basics of what you actually need to catch fish. What is the latest line that I could possibly catch fish on? I've seen people do the two pound test. That's probably the lightest line that I can find in any kind of store. I've even seen people challenge themselves to try to catch fish on dental floss. Wonder what the breaking strength of dental floss is. Is there anything lighter out there? What about sewing thread? Can you catch fish on sewing thread? You know what, I don't even have to look too far. My wife's got a sewing kit. <laughs> That's right. Now I'm no stranger to digging deep in my tackle box to try to come up with some new challenge and new idea. This is definitely digging deep into the box. A whole different box. Yeah, <laughs> it's my wife's sewing box. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna try to catch fish on sewing kit. That's insane. <laughs> That's right, can I catch fish? With a sewing kit? How strong is sewing thread? Is that enough to catch a fish? What all you got in here? A bunch of different threads. Got a bunch of needles. Wonder if I can make a hook out of a needle. What is that? Any idea what that's in for? It's a stress ball. The sewing so stressful. That's what it is, it's a stress ball. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Hey, it's the original line cutter's ring here. That's to cut your threads with. 
It's a line cutter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that. I can measure my catches now? What the heck is this for? What else we got? We got pliers. It's like an actual fishing kit, man. Okay, there's more thread in here. I like the color on this one. How strong is this stuff? Oh man, <laughs> that just broke like nothing, guys. I barely had a pull on that. I wonder what the breaking strength is on this. I like barely, barely put any pressure on it. Snap. That's gotta be less than two pounds. Wow. I got a skill. Let's see what the breaking strength of this stuff is. I got the sewing thread here tied to the hook. I'm just gonna pull on it and see when it breaks. <laughs> Let's try that again one more time. But I think the highest I saw was 1.13. I'm gonna try it again one more time. Line tied to the hook, and I'm just gonna start pulling. Oh, I saw 1.67 pounds that time. Oh, this thread here, and that's the thread I'm gonna use. That thread is less than two pound test. Can I catch fish on one and a half pound test line? <laughs> this is gonna be insane. You know what, and I think I'm actually gonna make it even harder on myself. I think I'm gonna try to make a hook out of one of these needles too. I found this pack of needles in the bottom there. At least what I'm gonna try to make a hook out of. Try to make a hook out of this needle. That looks like a hook to me. Let's try to make a couple of these. Oh, that didn't work. Try the medium one. Oh, those ones just break too. Well, that's our hook. Well, there it is. We're gonna try some sewing thread and a needle and see if we can catch fish on the entire sewing kit. Fishing with one and a half pound sewing thread. Man, that's crazy. I'm no stranger to fishing with light, light equipment. I've used some ultra light equipment to catch some pretty big fish out there. But you gotta remember, when they say two pound test line, that's the breaking strength of it. A two pound fish weighs two pounds, but it's also got whatever kind of strength it's got for that pulling power. So a two pound fish can be pulling a lot more than just two pounds. It can be pulling its weight plus whatever strength it's got. Certain fish pull a lot stronger than other fish. A two pound peacock bass has at least the breaking strength of a five pound largemouth bass. We're gonna need all the help we can get with this sewing thread out there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thread and I'm actually gonna put it on my ultra, ultra light equipment here. Four foot, very light, very sensitive rod. It's got a tiny little reel on here, but it's got a good drag on it. I know I can catch big fish on this as long as you play it with the proper drag out there. But I know this has got a nice drag on it that I should be able to help me out with this tiny little line here. I'm gonna take this thread here and I'm gonna string it up on this rod and reel. Here we go. Sewing thread on a spinning reel. This is crazy, guys. There it is. All spooled up. This is gonna be an incredible challenge, guys. Sewing thread on a spinning reel. Woo! This is gonna be nuts. <clears throat> well, folks, here we are. And, uh, oh man, wasn't expecting this. I should have checked the weather, but it's windier than crap out here today. I wanted to go to another lake where I was gonna put the roundabout in the water. I target crappy, actually. The wind is wicked on that lake. It's, it's horrible. So I came out to this lake where I figured I can fish from the dock, and it's windier than crap out here, too. It's gonna make it even more difficult. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but we've got our sewing thread on top of our sewing needle, and I've got a couple different things I'm gonna try out here. I picked up some mealworms, maybe see if I uh, can pick up a little bluegill or something like that first, put it, really put it to the test. And then I'm hopefully catch something on a mealworm. I'm gonna work my way up. I've got giant red worms. Hopefully move up to a little bigger fish from there. And if I'm really gonna try it, I've also picked up a dozen giant minnows down there. Start with these mealworms first and see how, see how well we do. Gotta check this drag, make sure it's loose enough. Ooh, careful. 
I'm gonna snap my line just playing with the drag. Against this wind, I don't know if I can cast this out at all. Oh, look at that. We got about six inches out there. <laughs> that didn't go anywhere. So, Sony Thread's not a very good casting line, apparently. Sony Thread, dude, look how much it catches the wind. This is, this is not gonna be easy, guys. This wind is just gonna make this such a pain in the butt. I'm actually just gonna throw one of these middles on now. Just try to get it out there, see if anything happens. This wind's just terrible, so I might as well try a middle here first. The middle has got a little bit more weight to it, and at least it's alive, it can swim. Maybe it can keep that bobber out there in a strike zone a little bit longer or something, I don't know. Oh, 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 dude, oh, oh. Something's pulling that bobber under. Oh my God, I'm on something, guys. Oh, holy crap, holy crap. Dude, we got a big ass car. There's no way I got him on the hook. There's a giant gar on here, guys. There's no way he's on the hook. Oh, he's off. <laughs> that was a big gar. I wouldn't even bother trying to set the hook because he's gonna lose the hook and there's no way I'm gonna catch him on this sewing thread. <laughs> big spotted gar. All right, well, I found a little spot here on a map. I've never been here before. There's a little canal that connects the two lakes together, but it's protected from the wind, at least right here, a little bit. I don't know anything about this spot. I'm sure there's bluegill, there's all sorts of stuff. I don't know what else is in there, if there's crappie in here. Out of all the thread that she had in that sewing kit, I picked this one because it's kind of like a like a beige. And I figured it would actually probably look best in the water, you wouldn't see it as much, but it actually stands out quite a bit in the water. Maybe she'd have gone with the black or something. Guys, oh, he just came off. Oh, oh, I had a bass. I threw the minnow out and right away that bobber went under and a little bass. Oh man, I didn't want to set the hook because I'm afraid to break this line. Oh man, do I still have my minnow? Oh, look what he done to it. He pulled the hook all the way through the minnow. I think the problem is I'm so afraid to set the hook because I think that's where I'm going to pop the line at. No messing around this tap. Got a new minnow on. Cast them out, let's see what happens. If we get another fish, I'm actually gonna try to set the hook a little bit. You know, just, just a nice slow sweep or something. This isn't a real hook, this is a, a sewing needle. It, it's sharp, sharp enough to pierce for sure. There's no barb. Come on, I'm on. I don't, oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't tell what it is or how big it is. Oh, oh, it's gone. Oh. Ah, this is so hard because I don't want to set that hook. Oh no! I think that was a little bowfin actually. Oh, <laughs> so difficult, guys. Let's try again. I am just feeding the fish out here. This is tough. I've had about four fish, I guess four fish on, and I lost them all because I wasn't able to set this needle hook without snapping the line. This has definitely not been easy at all. I got some! Oh, got him! Oh my good! Come on, stay on! Stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked! Guys, we got something! I think it's a bass! Oh, oh my god, what a fight! What a fight! <laughs> He's not on that, oh my goodness! Oh my god, don't lose him! There's sticks and everything over there! Oh my god, yes, yes! I got him out in the open. Oh my goodness! Oh! Look out! Get him! Get him up here! Get him in! Yes! Yes! I got one! I got one! Oh my goodness! Yes! Yeah! Oh, the sewing thread and the needle! There it is down there! Oh! He swallowed it! That's the only reason they caught him! I don't care! I got him! Oh, look at that, guys! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do some surgery, but woo, the sewing thread held up. What a fight! Oh, I'm out of breath, man. Out of breath catching this little guy here. Oh yeah! Check it out! Oh come on, buddy, I hope you're okay. It's that way! Yes! Woo! Woo we got one! The sewing thread on the needle hook. Actually got one. And what a fight, man! What an absolute freaking blast! The thread looks like it's in good shape still. The hook's still in good shape. The knot's still in good shape. Let's go get another middle and see if we can get another one. Awesome. All right, move down this little canal a little farther. 
fresh minnow out there. That was a terrible cast. Oh no, I lost my minnow. Oh man. This is a tough, tough, tough challenge. Not just trying to get them to get hooked on this thing. Trying to keep my minnows on here is proven to be a heck, heck of a difficult challenge. New minnow. I'm gonna try to get it closer to the other side as I can. Oh yeah, that's, that's not too bad. A little bit better. Are you kidding me? I don't have a minnow again? Oh my god, what? Something just hit that bobber! What the hell? Something just smacked at that bobber. That had to have been a bass. There we go. Shoot. I'm hooked up on something. Oh no. Not good. I'm on a branch. I'm gonna dev Oh no, I got my pound and a half thread caught on a branch. Oh no, it snapped. Oh no, there goes my hook. I do have some small regular hooks. I'm just gonna have to use those. All right, but we did catch one on the needle hook at least. Oh, man. I had to tie a small regular hook on. I'm sure I'll hear it from somebody. I got the needle hook snagged again and it broke off, unfortunately. There's lots of sticks, lots of branches, lots of stuff. And I'm using sewing thread, guys. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is not easy. That hook got, got caught up on a little little branch and that's it. That's all she wrote. There's nothing I can do about it. And unfortunately, that was the only one that I had. Snapped all the other needles trying to make them. Oh, oh. Bobber's under. Bobber's under. I'm on. I'm on something. Oh, my bobber's off. But I'm on a fish that is running like a madman. Holy cow. What is going on? Oh, my God. Oh, I got a nice pass, guys. Oh, my God. Stay on, please. Stay on. Oh, it's a crappy. It's a big ass crappy, guys. Oh my God. Look at this slab. Oh my God. Look at this thing. I lost my bobber. I got another one. It's okay. Oh my God. Don't break. Blind, don't break. Don't, don't, oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at the size of this crappy. <sighs> Look at that. Oh my God, guys. That is, that is huge. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! This is insane! I was not expecting that! I didn't know there was crappy in here! Wow, that thing fought well! That was an insane little fight! Look at that, guys! That is nuts! What a huge crappy! That is awesome! I caught him on sewing thread! I caught you on sewing thread! <laughs> oh my god! This is absolutely insane, guys! I had no idea! Are you kidding me? Wow, that's the biggest crappy I've ever caught. I haven't caught a lot, but that is a Mondo. Mondo crappy. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> I caught a crappy on sewing thread. That is insane! That was just fantastic. What little I know about crappie though, they're not a solitary fish as far as I know. So if there was one crappie in this canal, there's bound to be more. Okay, we got a barber running. Something's swimming with it. I, I'm on, I'm on, I'm, I'm still on. I don't know what I got. What do I got? He's, he, oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's a, it's a little bass. <laughs> it's a little bass. <laughs> okay, all right, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Just a little guy. <laughs> Woo. Look at that. Look at that. Still on the sewing thread. Third fish. Just a little bass. There it is. The tiniest bass I ever caught. Just a little guy. <laughs> we got a third one. Oh, on the sewing thread. The sewing thread has given no issues whatsoever so far. Well, that was just a little one. We got to get something bigger than that. All right. Well, here we go. Still on the sewing thread challenge. Now, I've done pretty darn good with this challenge so far. We've caught a few fish. We caught a, about a half pound bass, about a one pound crappie, probably the biggest crappie I've ever caught. And then that really tiny little baby bass. And that's pretty awesome considering I did catch all of those on sewing thread. I'm not quite satisfied yet. I'm so close to saying this is an awesome challenge complete. I've been so impressed with how this thread has actually held up so far. 
then I gotta put it to one last challenge. I gotta do it. We tested this line out. It had a one and a half pound braking strength on it. Before I say I have successfully completed this challenge, I wanna catch one fish that weighs as much as the braking strength of this line. So to do that, I brought the roundabout out. I've only got about an hour and a half of sun left here today. Same rod, I've got the same thread on there. I've tied on the smallest circle hook that I had. Um, I believe, especially on a decent sized fish, if I had to set that hook, that's probably where I'm gonna pop that line. A circle hook hopefully should eliminate that and I don't really have to set it, it'll kind of set itself. And I picked up a dozen shiners as i got everything all set and ready i got the roundabout in the water staring at this going something is missing what am i missing i forgot the flipping seat are you kidding me i'm about a good hour away from my house i don't have time to go home and try to get the seat and come back oh man this challenge will not quit oh, all right let's do it we're gonna stand up and catch one more fish all right we're gonna attempt to maneuver out of here standing up. I'm so used to sitting down doing this. Woohoo! Here we go. Ah, oh, the things I do to get a challenge done. Whoa! Guys, standing up, trying to keep my balance on this thing. Come, come across the lake. I'm tired already. There's a lot more wind out here than I thought for sure. You just need one fish, guys. One fish. One pound and a half or bigger bass. Man, it can't be that difficult. Well, this just gets harder and harder. What a challenge. All right, come on, baby. Okay, we got something on here. Come on, stay on, please. Please stay on. Oh God, this is a heavy. Oh my God, guys. Holy crap, did you see that thing jump? I gotta keep the pressure on him. Oh my God. You see, there's a huge bass on it. I got him on sewing thread. Oh my God, oh my God. He's running towards me. I'm cranking as hard as I can. Please, 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 please. Let me catch this fish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God, here he comes, here he comes. Oh Jesus, Jesus. Don't break this thread. Don't let him, oh my God. Oh, oh my God, guys, this is a huge fish too. This is a big fish. This is exactly why I brought this, this net. Oh my God, oh my God, please stay on. Please stay on. I can barely pick him up. It's like he's stuck on the bottom or something. Here he comes, here he comes, okay, here he comes. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Okay, oh my God. Get him in the net, please, 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 please. Ah, yeah, I did it. Oh my God. Guys, look at, I got him on thread. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Yes. Oh, he's not even that huge. I thought he was huge. Well, I got him on freaking sewing thread. Look at that. That hook is just in the tip top of the mouth there. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's about, he's over two pounds though. Two, two, two and a half pounds. Maybe even close to three. He's got a big mouth on him. Look at that fish. And look at that. Guys, that's sewing thread. I caught him on sewing thread. What a fight. Oh my God, that was insane. I can't believe that actually worked. Uh, I, I was trolling giant shiners with sewing thread and I caught a two and a half pound fish. Oh my God, that is insane. Ah, there goes the hook. Look at this thread, it's all torn up. I cannot believe that thread did not break catching that fish. Guys, I did it. Ho oh, ho, a monster bass on one and a half pound breaking string sewing thread from my wife's sewing kit. Woo! <laughs> that is a challenge complete. Oh my God, I can't believe it actually finally worked. Woo! Guys, oh man, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This challenge was incredibly tough. I lost so many fish, but I managed to catch 
a few and one giant oh my god i can't believe it worked well guys i really hope you enjoyed this and it just goes to prove to you that you know what try something different we don't need 30 40 50 65 pound braid i just caught a two and a half pound bass on sewing thread that breaks at one and a half pounds of pressure are you kidding me use your equipment that's what it's there for that's what it drags for and challenge yourself i bet you you can come up with something amazing just like this guys i really hope you did enjoy this and i hope you learned a little something if you did make sure you smash the heck out of that like button and leave a comment for me on anything else you'd like to see me film out here i'll do my very best to make a video out of each and every one of those but most importantly guys subscribe to that channel and if you already subscribed, well, stay subscribed because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last time, guys, from beautiful North Florida, catching beautiful bass on sewing bread. It's Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. Unbelievable. Get me out of here. Let me go home. <laughs>